license plate fees may soon cost Toledo drivers more. Christy Gerlett joins us live in studio with the details tonight. So Christy, Toledo's mayor brought this plan to city council. How come? Yes, he says that the revenue from the increase would go to a fund that would help maintain the roads around the city. I spoke to the deputy mayor earlier who said road safety and maintenance are big priorities for their office. So this fund is our pothole fund. You know, this is this is the things that we need to do on the roads that aren't um, going to be a part of that quarter percent. The quarter percent income tax, Deputy Mayor Abby Arnold says, has been a success since it was voted in in 2020. But that revenue is used to fix the roads, according to the mayor's office. And this new proposal for a license plate registration fee increase would bring in revenue for maintaining them. Right now, the fee to register your license plate is $25. The mayor's proposal will increase it by $5, turning it to 30 I don't have to wreck my car and my tires on potholes. I would have, I'd pay $5. It's not very often that you have to renew plates. You know, $5 is nothing. Others, however, were skeptical. If I actually saw it go to the roads, I would say it's fine. But to be honest, I don't think that's where it'll go. Tell me why. Um, I mean, in the past, they say that they're going to put money places and that never really seem to see it. If city council turns the proposal down, the mayor's office says it would mean cutbacks on some road maintenance. It'll mean less potholes get filled. I mean, frankly, that's that's what it will mean. Some cities in Lucas County have already voted in the increase, like Maumee, Sylvania and Ottawa Hills. Anytime we're asking our residents for additional funding, it's never an easy decision to make, I would say. Um, we weigh those things very carefully. Uh, but I do think that, again, the level of priority that our residents have asked us to place on roads, I think it's necessary that we continue to maintain at the level that they deserve. Now, council is expected to discuss the plan at their meeting next week. City leaders hope to get the new fee up and running by the middle of next year. Reporting the studio, I'm Christy Gerlett for WTOL 11.